Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and this is a collective message and kind of a little PSA. Um, so anyways, like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. I'd love it if you would. But the one thing that I want to say is with the little PSA thing is talking about readers, you know, like myself and whatever. Um, psychic mediums, no matter what they label themselves as, high priestess, light workers, whatever. Um, there's a bazillion of us out there on YouTube, especially. And in real life, you know, like you could literally get a business card and go meet with someone or whatever. But I've said this before, and I'll say it again. <laughs> um, not every person who says that they can read tarot okay, I'm a tarot reader. They, they could be, they're probably not lying. They could read tarot. They might know exactly what these cards mean. The definition of every card. I can just go, yeah, yeah, the like king of wands. You know, this is someone who's very passionate and driven and whatever. Like, you know what I mean? The lovers, it's a choice between two. <laughs> whatever it is but you know what I mean like you know the basic meaning of the cards and you can be a tarot reader anyone can read cards because a book comes with it I have the wisdom of the oracle and that's these cards right here the ones that I, I play with all the time on here not all the time but sometimes but it comes with a book just like every other deck not every deck does but most do and I can, I can read the messages like, oh, what does that card mean? Or whatever. And some people study that and then they just know and that's what they say. And I'm not saying that people can't get information from that because you can. But there's a difference between a tarot card reader and someone who's intuitive. Intuitively gifted. You know, someone who is tapped in. They're a psychic, medium, or otherwise. Like, they see beyond what the cards are. Like, for me, for example, I know what the basic meaning of rider weight is, just because I've done it for so long. But I have, I, I prefer oracle cards, to be honest, because I can look at an image like this. You know, you can look at the picture on this card, round and round. It's got a little label. Round and round we go. But if you actually look at the image, what do you see? You know, it's not just what I see. Like when I, it, and I see different things in every reading because it pertains to different messages. It's different meanings. Um, cause it's not always about karmic cycles, you know, what does it look like to you? Like use your own intuition on things like this on just everyday images, not just on cards on anything you know like what what do certain things mean to you because that's your own intuition but that's how i read them I'm, I'm an intuitive reader i i get messages in multiple ways like i feel things i taste things i smell things i hear things i i see things you know in the cards and the images whatever but not every reader is that way but the only reason i want to say that is because I literally, okay, there's this one, I'm not naming names, I'm not disparaging anyone because that's not what this is about. There's a bunch of readers out there, but there was one that I came across and this person has a lot of followers. I'm not going to name the number or whatever. And I was like, oh, the title caught my eye. So I was like, oh, I'll see what this is about. So I'm listening. It's 54 minutes long. Okay. <laughs> I didn't finish it because I was like, this is, this is ridiculous. But anyways, um, it's 54 minutes long and this is what she kept doing. She would shuffle and cards would fall out and she'd be like, oh my goodness. Oh my God. Wow. This, what? And you're going, what the fuck are you seeing? <laughs> Like, that's all I could think of. I'm like, okay. So she'd do that and then go, oh, there's a karmic here. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, there's an impending tower. This is a problem. This person's a real problem. 
I can't even. Let me see here. What is this? So there's like 20 cards down. That's all she said. And she kept doing it. And I'm just like, how do people suck this up? It's called manipulation is what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm like, because I'm going, what the fuck is this bitch talking about? Like, no offense to the bitch. I'm just saying. I'm not saying she's a bitch, but I'm just saying it's a woman. You know, no offense to her, but there is a tower. <laughs> I'm just like, okay, so out of half an hour wasted out of my life listening to this, I think she said three things, and all I got was, there's an enemy, it's a karmic, and there's a tower. Oh, and you're spiritual. That's all I got out of 5,000 cards that she laid down. <laughs> And, of course, people can't see the cards because she's like, can you see this? No, we can't because only you can see it. And you're going, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> I was just like, okay, I don't know how people fall for that crap. I really don't. But it's all about views and success and attention. So that's pretty much what that shit's about. So pay attention to stuff like that and don't read too much into readings like that. And I'm not saying that I read better than her because that's not, that's not what I mean. I'm just saying like, that's, I was just fl floored because <laughs> I was bored as fuck sitting there trying to get through the message, go, like almost hoping that there'd be something in there. And I, I kept hearing in my head, she's not intuitive. This, this person's just a freaking, she's just, I don't know what the hell she is, but she's definitely not. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Like thinking to myself, like, yeah, this is crap. But, you know, pay attention, you know, listen to yourself. I didn't pay for that, but what if someone did? Because people do. People, t uh, they pay for personal readings, not just from YouTube. Um, people they don't know or whatever, like it could be an in-person thing. Like, okay, YouTube isn't credible, even though, you know, the people who are offering personal readings, you get to experience their readings or general readings first and see if you vibe with them kind of thing, which actually I like because the way it used to be before YouTube and people were on here and stuff, um, you get a business card and you just have to, it's word of mouth only. You'd have to just take someone else's judgment and hope it was right. You know, that you weren't getting scammed kind of thing. So it's kind of nice to be able to feel things out with the internet and whatever, but there's a lot of scammers out there. A lot. Just because you understand cards does not mean you know, you know, do you know what I mean? Um, and I'm only saying that because I truly don't want anyone to get taken for a ride. I'm not saying don't go to them, come to me. No, you know, if, if we don't vibe, if you don't feel right about that, that's totally fine. That is not what this is about. This is about like, <sighs> use your discernment, use your better judgment with everyone, including me. You know what I mean? Because we vibe with certain people, but there are some people who legitimately, they don't know. They really don't know. Like you can, anyone can buy cards, go to Amazon, get cards, go to Etsy, go to your local bookstore, wherever the fuck it is. Anyone can get a normal Rider Waite deck and go, all right, I'm going to read the book and I'm going to, um, I know the fool is about new beginnings. Taking a leap of faith. Boom. I, I rocked it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it's more than that when it, when it's coming to, when it pertains to serious matters. And one thing I do want to mention on here right quick, real quick, I'm going to do a reading, but, um, is yeah, move past the crap. I'm just saying, but anyways, if anyone in my life surrounding me that I know or otherwise wants to get a reading on me like oh what does Jessica think and feel what is going on with her and blah 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 whatever you'll automatically be blocked um, I have protection up no one can get into my energetic field to read me 
There is no psychic out there, no medium, no nothing who can read my energy because I made it so, because I don't give permission for that. Um, I haven't and I won't. I might for certain people, it just depends, but you have to talk to me first. So if anyone's looking into my life, like me personally, you won't get the correct information um, because someone's probably just going to bullshit you and take your money, basically. Because uh, I have walls up. No one's getting into my energy, period. End of discussion. So I advise not to. I'm just going to say. But if you want to, that's up to you. That's your prerogative kind of thing. Um, if you want to waste your money, go ahead. Because people will say whatever when you pay them. You know what I mean? Some people, especially the untrustworthy ones. The ones who only read the book. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. Because I don't even need cards. I've done readings where I just do channel messages and I scribble. And stuff still makes sense to people. You know what I mean? It's not about the cards. What I like about the cards is that I can look at an image and it, it kind of, it's like a guide for the energy. Um, yeah, telepathic communication. It's like a guide for the energy, but that's why I like Oracle cards more or like unique decks and stuff. Because um, it's the imagery I look at, but it's not always in that. Sometimes some cards come out, and it's it. I bypass them completely because it's not the traditional meaning. It's not what the reading's about. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, somebody wants you to talk to them. But anyways, just use your discernment with readings. If you're truly drawn to someone, and you feel like they resonate with your energy that's one thing especially online and stuff but just use caution i'm just saying that because there's a lot of scammers out there i mean hell on youtube there's a lot of scammers who don't even ask for personal readings or don't offer them they just want your views they want they want the ad revenue. They want the more views they have, the more subscribers, whatever, the more money they make. And yeah, people should be paid for their time. So it's like, it is what it is. But what I saw tonight, I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't know. I just, seriously, if she would have recorded that before and cut it all out out of 54 minutes, you probably would have had a 10 minute reading out of that whole, out of all that time. Because you would have just bypassed the, oh, oh my goodness, oh my god, the suspense would have been gone. <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyways, oh, there's wishes coming in. Some of you really want to hear from someone and you're going to because they might be picking up on it telepathically or you just know, you just have this feeling. No matter where it's coming from or how you're receiving the messages, you're just, you just have a feeling that someone is approaching you, that this phone call is coming in or this message or whatever. And it is from someone that you do want to hear from, which is amazing. That's awesome. It really is awesome. Um, because that's what we want, right? You know, we want our wishes to come true. Some of you are thinking, yeah, this is just a daydream. This is just a, a wish, but it's not. There is mind reading in here and has something to do with text messages and or direct messages like a messenger or whatever app like an app or something online app because you can direct message people on facebook instagram all kinds of shit um I feel like you feel this person thinking about you and I feel like you feel this message coming but if you talk to them before I also feel like you could have predicted what they were going to say. You could have done that and before with this person. Like, if you, like, for example, if you asked somebody a question, you could have asked a specific person, or you could have, you could do this with multiple people, but it feels like with someone specific. 
Um, but regardless of how many people who it is, it's like asking someone a question and then in your mind you get an answer and then they text it and that's what you're thinking. Um, I feel like it's like you already knew what someone was going to say <laughs> before they said it. And if you told them, it could have freaked them out. But even if you didn't tell them, you just, you just had a feeling like, I just, I knew you were going to say that kind of thing. That's telepathic communication, even if you don't understand it. And that happens to a lot of people. That's not just with psychics and shit like that. It's, it happens to a lot of people. Um, like, yeah, I knew you were going to tell me no. I knew you were going to say that you wanted to vacation here or, you know, whatever it is. Um... There is a time to celebrate coming up. The color blue is significant. That always makes me think of Monty Python with the troll at the bridge. Like, what's your favorite color? <laughs> blue. And then he asked another question. He asked three questions. It's really easy for like the first two. And the third one's like, I got this. And then he changes it up. Like, what's the capital of blah, blah, blah. And the guy's like, Huh? <laughs> like, that's not what I expected. <laughs> I thought it was going to be the same for everyone. Nope. So maybe someone felt that way. Like, the things that you say or the questions that you ask are going to be the same, but they're not. Like, there's a... <coughs> Even if it's not questions, the way you speak to people is different. You talk to everyone differently. Like, you act accordingly based off from their energy. So if there's a love interest in here, you, they could have thought that you speak to everyone that way. Like, well, you talk to so-and-so that way too. Like you must speak to everyone this way, but you don't. You speak to like this specific person, you talk in depth with them, like in depth with them, but you don't do that with other people. There's a difference even if someone doesn't understand it. Even if they thought you spoke to everyone that way. Like, oh, you spoke to so-and-so this way or whatever. But you, you speak differently with this person. Because they, they matter to you. Because um, there is a difference. Like, when, when someone means something to you, like when you care, you do talk to them differently than if it's just everyday Joe Schmo or whoever. You know what I mean? Somebody missed your call and they're regretting it. Um, could be a soulmate of yours. What the fuck is with everything flying? I'm just saying. Maybe somebody's gonna be flying. Mirroring. Yeah, you and this person are very similar. You guys could have the same fears or insecurities as well. Or you could be feeling their hesitation. I almost feel like I want to retract my statement to see if, if you'll, if you'll know, like, okay. So like what I said, you might pick up or know what this person's going to say. And then they're like, well, you're going to know what I'm going to say here. So I'm just going to change it, but you're going to know what they change it to as well. Compromise. You both want to compromise in this situation. You both want to move forward because you guys feel happy together there's just a comforting feeling surrounding you and this person like you can talk forever you can lay in each other's arms you guys can joke around be silly be like I honestly feel like you could look sick as shit and like have like boogers hanging out your face and your eyes are watering and you're just like I'm dying <laughs> cold like you got a cold and shit and this person, like, you can be around this person like that and not care. Like, I don't give a crap what I look like. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'll be, I'll show you this side of me. Like, I've got the shits from hell and I'm sorry it happens kind of thing. Like, I don't know. You can talk about health issues. You can, this, you just know you won't be judged. This person doesn't judge you. You don't judge them. It's like you are a thousand percent authentic with whoever the hell this is. And you have been. Even if they questioned it, you have been. And you know what's funny? There's someone in this energy who um, was being authentic with you. They were being honest in certain aspects. 
and it feel like so maybe not a hundred percent but with certain things and this person could have told you uh certain personal things about themselves like whether it's health related or otherwise that they normally wouldn't say to um prospects you know what i mean like if they're out dating to impress someone they wouldn't say or do some of the things that they did in front of you or whatever and you still accepted them like i don't know i almost feel like you combated every push away so if someone was trying to make themselves seem less attractive or fucked up or whatever like because they were guarded you were like oh it's okay because blah 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 <laughs> like i don't know like you had an answer for everything and this person probably wasn't expecting that because usually if they would do that the other person would be like what the fuck is wrong with you <laughs> and you didn't say that you didn't do that you were like yeah well you know what happens <laughs> like whatever it is <laughs> i don't even know what it is like I don't know, for some reason it's making me think of something serious, like erectile dysfunction or something, but I'm not saying that's what this person showed you. They could have. Um, or they could have experienced that and they were a little nervous, but, you know, it happens to the best of people, I'm just saying. Whether you're old or not, or you have a health issue, or you just drink too fucking much, you know, whatever it is, it happens. It really does. <laughs> That must be coming from a guy. Like, it really does happen. <laughs> I've heard that from multiple men, so I'm just saying, over the course of history. And, you know, it sucks for dudes in that circumstance because for them, it's like, it's a physical attribute. You know what I mean? Like, they literally, if it ain't working, it, you can't you can't fake it kind of thing with a, with a chick you can fake it so they're kind of at a disadvantage with that if you think about it um and it can be really embarrassing especially especially seems like you know when it happens females usually go i don't do it for you you're not turned on like they take offense like it's it's them but it's not like i mean sometimes you know a guy won't rise to the occasion because he ain't into it, but it could be alcohol related because whiskey dick, there's two forms. It's either you rock hard forever and never get off or it's just forever. You know, it's just, just kind of hanging around. Like, let's just hang out. <laughs> kind of energy. Um, either that or, you know, there's different circumstances as to why that shit could happen, but it's not always because someone isn't turned on, you know? Um, depends on the age, health issues, circumstances, substances, whatever. And a lot of women do take offense to that, but why, you know? Because a guy can still do other things if he's interested, for one, if that's the road you're taking, you know what I mean? Um... And, you know, women can fake it and just pretend. And no one will ever know. I guess that's the beauty of being a chick. But um, if you look at it from that perspective, it it kind of changes things. You know what I mean? Because you might not be turned... As a female, you might not be turned on and then you can pretend you're turned on. A guy can't. You know what I mean? And I'm... I don't know. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Somebody might deal with that or something. <laughs> or they're worried or it happened. I don't know. Something happened. Because someone's worried about that. Like, do you think I don't like you? <laughs> like, or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe someone thinks that, that you think they're inadequate because they couldn't rise to the equation. To the equation. <laughs> to the occasion. To the equation. They couldn't rise to the equation. Maybe someone was thinking too much and it just made shit not work right. You know what I mean? Like, the spaghetti was overcooked. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it happens. <laughs> I can't. 
kid. I don't think this is, wow, this is competition. <laughs> I don't know if there's competition because there's noodle dick here, but <laughs> this is going to be a Patreon reading. Oh my God. <laughs> Well, yeah, this person walked away because it doesn't matter how connected you are if, or I guess, if the shit don't work. Um, and that's just on their end. I don't feel like you're, like, shunning them. Someone's dick didn't work, and they're not old. So I just want to say for some of you, if something didn't happen for you and you were like hoping that it would, that might have been what happened. Someone couldn't perform because of whatever fucking reason, either nerves or liquor or something. Someone couldn't perform, couldn't rise to the occasion. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Wands. There's financial success here. <laughs> I guess that's good. Oh my God, this person wants attention. Oh shit. Um, could have been due to family issues. This could have happened at your home. But this has something to do with. I want to talk to you. I want attention. Someone didn't successfully get your attention, apparently. Or they did, and they couldn't, they couldn't rise. Oh, shit. Your wish came to an end because of the devil energy. Yeah, someone's afraid. Something didn't happen. Something didn't come full circle. Some Or something did. But... What the fuck is this? Something to do with Christmas as well. Let's well, talk about Merry Christmas opening the box. Somebody might have wanted to open your box and they just couldn't because their key was like, no. <laughs> but anyways, someone's key was faulty. They had a faulty key. Um, what the fuck is this? Malicious reflection. Malicious and reflection. Someone was worried. Oh my God. Someone was worried. Whoever couldn't perform, apparently, was worried that you would know. Has a telepathic communication. I almost feel like there was someone in the situation who was supposed to sleep with you for whatever fucking reason. And it would have been a wish fulfillment for you because I feel like you were interested in this person. And they couldn't perform because they were too terrified that you would know their intentions. That you would know what was really go going on. It's almost like, okay, I'm in the moment. I'm turned on. I can do this. I got this. Success is assured. You know what I mean? Like, we're going to get down to... We're going to get... We're going to boogie down. You know what I mean? I'm going to grant this bitch her wish. That's how I heard it. So, that's just... Somebody thought that. I'm going to grant this bitch her wish. And... You didn't get your wish because someone couldn't couldn't do it. And the reason why they couldn't do it is because they were thinking they felt bad. For one, I feel like they felt bad. Two, I also feel like they were worried. Like, fuck, you're, you're going to know. You're, you're going to... It's almost like, oh, I'm, I'm rock harder. I'm rock hard. I'm ready to go. But, uh, fuck, the second it starts... <laughs> It's like, oh no, the worry kicks in. Like, you're going to know, you're going to read my thoughts. You're going to know, you're going to know, you're going to know, you're going to know. And then that kills the fucking mood. You know what I mean? So this person was up to some bullshit and their own bullshit fucked them over and gave them limp dick. 
I guess that was instant karma for them, just saying, because they didn't get the prize. Yeah, you didn't get your wish. You were supposed to, but you didn't. <laughs> didn't happen. The wish never happened because someone couldn't do it. Um, they tried really hard, but I feel like their mind got away from them, like, you're going to know, you're going to know, I'm worried, I don't want you to know, kind of thing. Like, that's what that feels like. Someone's too worried that you were going to fucking know. Or that someone else was going to know. I feel like it was like you were going to know, because we have telepathic communication here. What's up with the Ten of Pentacles? Dummy, still talent controlled. Yeah, that's family, a controlling family situation with butcher knife, run for the hills, take cover, escape. <laughs> the six of wands. What the fuck? Giving attention for that? Success. Unexpected phone call. Take cover. Someone wants to protect themselves or they need to take cover. Yeah, there's a controlling family situation or someone's controlled by their own family, your family, something. Um, the occult, belief system, ter uh, theory and intangible wish wishes. fuck this is why this person was so fucking worried this person was so worried this is why they're fucking they went limp doodle you know like way overcooked noodle you know what I mean um because Because, um, sex magic. Sex magic isn't always about, you know, getting turned on over someone and making you want another person. Because a lot of people think of sex magic in that way. Like, you know, if someone's doing that to me or whatever, they're going to be tied to me forever or they're going to want me and it's going to become obsessive. You know, like a lot of people think of it that way, but that's not always what it's about. You don't realize how much of your energy, your essence you give away when you sleep with another person, especially if you raw dog it. You know what I mean? You know, if you're using protection, it's a little different. But if you're, like, really getting into a moment with someone and they're doing sex magic or someone else is and they're just the pawn in that little game, I guess you could say. It's not really a game, but in that practice. So it's like, all right, I'll do all the ritual shit. You just need to be the one to do it. Because so-and-so won't sleep with anyone else. They'll sleep with you. So if you sleep with them, then we can complete this. Well, something wasn't completed because that person got scared. They got worried. They couldn't, they couldn't perform. They couldn't, they couldn't perform. Because they felt bad. It wasn't whiskey dick, I'm just saying. It was, they, they felt bad. They didn't want to do that to you. There was a cult bullshit in here. Someone was doing sex magic. Because they knew that you wanted to be with that person. Like, oh, this person's calling you, giving you attention. Run for the fucking hills. Yes. It could have been for money, but it feels like family, too. Portal dimensions, the other side. Portal dimensions, the other side, the devil. Someone tried to do sex magic. Like, the only way I'll let you fucking be with so-and-so is if you fuck them because I want their energy. I want their... Someone did this to someone who is 
actually very powerful. I just heard what's gonna happen to the person who almost <laughs> like is that person asking <laughs> what's gonna happen to them? Like I didn't go through with it, so what's gonna happen to me? <laughs> kind of thing. Um alright, so let's see. <laughs> what's gonna happen to the person who almost? Um that's kinda weird. That's a weird question. Why would that pop in my head? Um, what's going to happen to the person who almost, who couldn't follow through with the ritual, they were part of it, they had every intention on doing it, but didn't because they couldn't because they grew a conscience immediately. What's going to happen to that person? Portals, dimension, the other side. All right. Well, there's still a gateway that's opened. Um, God damn it. Fucking clown. That guy's creepy. Cannibal clown. Hunger, yearning, appetite. Oh, shit. Um, they're still getting karma, I'm just going to say. What's going to happen to the person who almost is this person is going to have a hunger unlike anything else. They might become obsessive. So shit might get turned around. Like, say, for example, you're the one who is interested in this person. Spell casting, ritual, ceremony, manifestation. What the fuck am I saying? Oh, you can't make it. You just can't make it up. You just can't. You just can't. But anyways, um, what's going to happen to the person who almost is a doorway was opened. It was never closed for one during whatever that process was. And because you really wanted it, that's why you were a willing participant. It wasn't because you're fucking a fat chick or a fucking ugly dude or whatever. You know what I mean? It was like, yeah, I'm interested. I'll do it kind of thing. And that because probably because they knew that you were, that you were interested in them. It's like, anyone else won't be able to do this like I can and I want to so whatever well this person's gonna really want to now because they came so close it's like close but no cigar like damn it it's almost like when you're running a triathlon or something you know you're in a competition of some kind so you're like running that marathon and you're just hauling ass and you're right towards the finish line and somebody else just crosses it and you're like like, I will be number one. Like, I will get there. <laughs> and you become obsessed with it. Like, I'm going to, this is my goal now. That's what's going to happen to this person. They're going to become obsessed. They're going to be like, I will achieve this. You are my Everest. Like, you know what I mean? Um, and it's not because of spiritual practices why they're feeling this way. I mean, it is because that's what initially happened and it never got consummated, I guess. And it, it never, someone didn't follow through basically. Um, so it's, it's almost like the spell's wide open. Whatever this is hasn't closed. This, this hasn't closed out. Someone didn't say goodbye. It's like using the Ouija board. And they're just walking away. Someone didn't close something out. Oh, shit. Somebody didn't say goodbye. They didn't end something. They didn't close. They didn't close it out. It's still wide open. And now this person's going to become obsessive. Not the person that it was, they were intended to, to fuck or something. This, the person who was supposed to do it that went limp noodle because it's a dude um, that couldn't perform because maybe he grew a conscience or something might become like, I have to do this, I have to do this. They might become obsessed with you sexually because something wasn't closed out. The, the ritual was never finished. 
Oh, shiitake. That's crap. Well, don't mess around with shit you don't understand. Just say it. Virus infected at risk tainted. <laughs> like, you literally can't make this up. Oh, my God. Day of the Dead, November 1st. Memories and Festival. What the fuck were they trying to do? Motel hell, vacation, pissed off, road trip. What was... Oh. Uh, okay, so yeah, someone's gonna become obsessed. Um, what would, what was this ritual about? Well, we have the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What was this? To find out information. Somebody wanted information. They wanted to understand something about you, about your past. Somebody wanted to tap into your history. Um, whether it's in this life, your Akashic records, whatever. I just feel like I want to know about your past. Somebody wanted to know about your past. Somebody wanted more information on you, which is where this is coming from. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, something was not closed out. Oh my God. Yeah, it was not. It was unsuccessful. Whatever this ritual was, it was unsuccessful. It wasn't closed out. And the shit is going to hit the fucking fan. The reason why this was done is because somebody wanted to end your success. They didn't want you to move forward. They didn't want you to have money. And they wanted to learn about your past. They wanted to know something about you. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of fucking passionate energy in here. This is definitely not for everyone. All right, so what's going to happen to Limp Dick here? I shouldn't say it like that, but anyways, the one who couldn't finish the ritual. Um, what's going to happen to that person? Not this deck. All right. What's going to happen to Limp Dick? <laughs> I laugh every time I say that. Sorry. What's going to happen to the one who's going to get all like an insatiable lust for the dead living dead girl someone's gonna become obsessed what are you thinking about how sexy you are what are you thinking about how sexy you are Because that's some of the lyrics of that song. Five of Cups. Someone's sad. So what's going to happen to Limp Dick? Sad. Someone's going to feel left out. Okay. Naked and alone. Naked and afraid. <laughs> uh, they're going to be left to their own devices. Just saying. Someone could have got COVID as well. The person who did this to you could have got COVID. Uh, three of Wands. Wait. Oh, my God. There is someone in this energy who is very sad about someone who passed away. And this person could have passed away a while ago. I don't know when they did. It's different for everyone. But whoever... We're talking about the person who didn't finish the ritual. The spaghetti noodle one. <laughs> Um, someone did pass away and they're sad about that. You might be aware. Maybe you picked up on it and that could be, I don't know. There's like a weakness here. You found this person's weakness and they couldn't follow through for some reason. But anyways, with the cannibal clown, this per, whoever this is, they fucking called you or messaged you out of nowhere for this, to do this, like, didn't talk, didn't talk, didn't talk, oh, there you are, oh, I'm bored, kind of crap, you know, whatever, and it's because they do want you, they are, they, they're sexually drawn to you, um, they left you waiting, but this person is going to get to the point where they can't wait, like, oh, God damn. like, I can't wait, yeah, someone's 
feels really fucking bad because they ruined their own wish. Your wish was their wish too, and they ruined it. But you know what? They're going to, you know what's happening is they didn't close out the cycle. Whatever freaking practice they were doing, even if they didn't do it and chant themselves, they were just part of it, it wasn't closed out and they're part of it. And they're getting hurt. But part of this ritual was to hurt you. Was to cause you pain. To take your wishes and just snuff them out. Well, justice came in. This person got COVID. <laughs> Something. I don't know. They got sick. This person, justice came in because it was a tainted situation. They couldn't, they couldn't perform. That was divine intervention right there. Because for some of you, I feel like if this person actually did sleep with you, I'm not saying you wouldn't have enjoyed, enjoyed it in the moment, but you would have regretted it because there was something really bad tied to that. Really bad. Like, really bad. And this person knows it. And they're keeping it to themselves. It would have ended shit for you between you and someone very significant. This was meant to fuck up a twin flame union or soul contract. Yeah. It was meant to screw it up. And that is the truth. There's the betrayal. So I feel like if you didn't sleep with this person and, and whatever this ritual was, was not completed, that was actually for your highest good. It might screw up shit for this person. But if this person gets a bit obsessed, it, that's why. Because they, they, they left the doorway open. They left the doorway wide open. And this person is going to become obsessive. Um, I feel like they're already starting to. But it's not like severe right now. But it's going to become too much to bear. And that's the repercussions of what they've done. But anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.